And to give us more updates in terms of what is happening at this moment in this pot boiler of an election, we're being joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik, who's been tracking the story very closely for us from Islamabad. Anas, this is a really a big moment at this point of time. No party has managed to get a clear majority and no party is nowhere anywhere near the magic figure. But what we've heard is from Nawaz Sharif where he has said he's admitted that his party cannot form the government on its own, but is open for a coalition. But at this moment, which other parties do you think are willing to come together with Nawaz Sharif potentially to form a government? That's a bit too early to say right now, Saleh, because historically all of the parties that have been, uh, that have clinched majority of the seats are those who have at one point or the other uh, did an alliance with the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. Right in front of me is the party position uh, and uh, 229 seats have been announced. 93 of them have been clinched uh, by independents. 64 of them have been taken by uh, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, uh, whereas uh, 51 seats by the Pakistan People's Party, 12 by the Mutahda Qawmi Movement, 4 by the Pakistan Muslim League Q, 2 by the IPP, uh, and uh, uh, 2 by the JUI as well. Now, uh, one seat remains disputed, but overall, we're now entering the final phase. 36 seats are now awaited, and then we will be having a clear cut figure as to what is the final count on the seats. But by the looks of this, uh, 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 this graph that's this chart that's right in front of me. It is abundantly clear that no party has, take, has been able to take majority and independence will be playing a crucial role. Now, with regards to this, Asis Zardari, the former president of Pakistan uh, and uh, co-chairperson of the Pakistan People's Party has already flown to Lahore. Uh, there are reports that he will be heading to Jati Umbra, the residence of the Sharif brothers, and he will be meeting Shabazz Sharif. Now, this comes in the light of the recent statement by Nawaz Sharif uh, that uh, 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 in the, rec uh, the recent statement by Nawaz Sharif that Shabazz Sharif has been tasked from his part to do the consensus built uh, and let the consensus uh, decide with regards to the coalition and the composition of the coalition as well, Saleh. Right, at this moment, Anas, you know, the independents are clearly the single largest block, but independents, it must be pointed out, are not just independent candidates backed by the PTR, there are other candidates as well. But is there any clarity at this moment on how many of the independents have allegiance towards the PTR and how many of them have allegiance towards the other political parties, such as the PMLN and the PPP? <laughs> Well, the safe estimate would be that uh, more than 50% of the elected independents are those who are backed and are PTI loyalists. Uh, that is a safe estimate. Uh, but we would know the exact count and the exact number once the polling, uh, uh, once the counting ends, when the compilation of the result ends, only then we would be able to know. But out of the out of the 93 independents that I can see that are now, uh, uh, that is now official uh, on the part of the election commission, uh, it would be safe to assume that it is 50 percent, that's roughly about 46 or 47 of them uh, are definitely those who are backed by the Pakistan Tehreek and Saaf. Saleh. Interesting. Thank you very much indeed, Anas Malik, for joining us and getting us all those updates. That will, of course, come back to you as more details emerge in the story. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.